Hey, what's up everyone? Koban or my name 456 here. Today I'm kind of giving you a news update and a channel update. So uh, it's been kind of a while actually since I have um, done a video actually like giving news and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to go on and get into those details in a moment. But um, anyway, the biggest news today that uh, I've found so far is that it uh, turns out that a source has basically said that um, Richard Studios is going to be working on a Wii U game, and it's currently a Star Fox game. Um, the source basically said that it's going to be shown off at E3 2012 to kind of show off the um, hardware's tech, like um, the capabilities of the hardware graphically, but it's most likely not going to be a launch title. So. But um, still, a Star Fox game for new console, that's pretty awesome, especially since we haven't had a, star, a new Star Fox game since uh, Star Fox Command, I believe, on the DS. I think that was the last one that was actually new. There was Star Fox 64 3D on 3DS, but that was a port. But anyway, um, yeah, give me your opinions on what you think about that, because uh, I actually really, really did like the Star Fox series. Um, it's... It had been a while since I had played it after I played, um, before I played Star Fox 64 because I had played Star Fox Assault and since they didn't come out with any more games, I didn't play any more of them. So, but, uh, you know, I think it would be pretty awesome. It would really, really show off the games, uh, you know, like the system's capabilities graphically. Because if you remember when the GameCube was being shown off, it was one of the most powerful consoles of its generation. And then, uh... Basically, they showed off the Star Fox game to kind of show off the graphical capabilities of the system along with Star Wars and, like, the E3. So, um, yeah, I think I'm really excited about it, and uh, I think it should be a pretty awesome game. Even if it isn't a launch title, it should be pretty awesome. Also, if you did not know this, but um, sometime earlier this week, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was revealed in a, its first official trailer. If you all had seen it, if you all have seen it already, um, you know basically it's the sequel to black ops and that's going to be said in the future and stuff like that and you're probably wondering why am i talking about black ops in a video when you already know i do, when like i don't like call of duty games or anything like that <laughs> reason why is because actually um turns out that uh treyarch has said that they are not going to be bringing the game to any handhelds whatsoever they're not working on any handheld version so I'd actually thought that it was going to be coming to maybe the PS Vita or the 3DS or something like that. Since, uh, you know, last year it, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 came on the DS, I believe. And then Call of Duty um, Black Ops came on the DS as well. Actually, I may be wrong about Modern Warfare 3. I could be mixing that up with Call of Duty Black Ops two years ago. But, um, yeah, basically it's not going to be coming to any handhelds, which is kind of a bummer. I thought it was going to be really, really awesome if it did. Even though, you know, actually kind of reading about the story and stuff like that, it sounded a bit more interesting because it actually seemed like a really, really realistic story. It wasn't, you know, the same old thing like World War Two or... You know, something to deal with Russians and all that stuff. I mean, it actually had, it actually kind of sounds like it has a pretty legit kind of interesting story. And the campaign may actually be a bit more interesting because most of those games, usually they focus on online. But um, I actually thought this sounded a bit interesting. So who knows, I may pick it up for PS3 or Steam or something like that. But, um, you know, uh, basically um, another one thing is that uh, Treyarch kind of did hint that they may actually bring it to the Wii U. Not sure, nothing confirmed or anything like that, but um, it's supposed to be coming to Steam, Xbox 360, PS3, and maybe we'll see E3 or something like that, or a reveal of it for, um, you know, or a reveal of it for uh, the Wii U. But um, let me know what you think. I think it would be awesome if it was and actually had some really, really unique features to it, because that could really, really get the system selling, because, you know, it's Call of Duty. Call of Duty sells like hotcakes all the time there's gonna be a share of sales going to the wii u if it actually does um go on the wii u because you know i mean it's just gonna happen just like black ops on the wii even though it doesn't sell as well as other um games on the other consoles it still sells really really well and that basically does it like mostly for the news actually there really wasn't much to talk about but i do have um six new screenshots of mario tennis open so you can check them out right here <laughs> But uh, yeah, so basically it for the news, kind of short, quick, but um, now I guess I'll go on and go into the channel update. So as you all know, I've not been uploading for like uh, four or five days, I think. 
Um, the reason why was because I actually got grounded because um, I was on Skype a bit too late and uh, you know got in trouble, so I wasn't able to use a computer for the rest of the week. But um, yeah, that was the reason why. Um, a lot of people were wondering why aren't you uploading or anything like that? Why aren't you uploading Sonic 06 or Super Mario Galaxy 2? Why is it taking so long? <coughs> Excuse me, what's going on? Um, why why is it taking you so long? And uh, yeah, that was the reason why. So. Basically, you know, I haven't been recording. I, I wasn't able to record or anything like that for the whole time. So um, uploads may be kind of a bit slow for the next couple of days or so. I don't know. I'm hoping they'll pick up again to where I can actually, you know, get some videos up to where I can have some just uploading, um, like, you know, just c have continuous uploads so that you all can uh, have like a video at least once a day or something like that. But um, it's going to kind of take a bit to actually catch up and do that again. But um, yeah, that was the reason why, to just let you all know. But um, it actually, like, you know, just thinking about it, it wasn't really that bad. I mean, I kind of got a break, um, even though I really do enjoy what I do on YouTube. It was just like, you know, kind of got a break to actually do other things and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people who are following, my, following me on Twitter actually saw this, but... Um, if y'all did not know this, I, before I actually got really, really into YouTube and stuff like that, I uh, was like, and I still kind of am, I'm, I love to do art and love to draw and stuff like that. So, um, usually take like several hours just drawing and stuff like that. But now I don't really have the time because, uh, you know, I do, I do YouTube and stuff like that. And I kind of actually enjoy that a bit more. But, um, you know, when I actually kind of got grounded, I mean, it actually gave me the time to actually, you know, do some other things. And uh, here we go. Yes, this is what I was drawing while I was grounded. And uh, here it is. It is Pit from Kid Icarus Uprising. There's my signature and name right there. And uh, it took like four hours to do. It took a while. A lot of people on Twitter and stuff saw the progress and stuff. So if you want to check that out on my Twitter, um, you know, twitter.com user kobongermani456. And, uh, yeah, it took a while, but, um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people really don't know that I'm an artist and stuff like that. Before I used to actually upload videos and stuff, kind of showing off my art on my other channel, but thinking about it, in the past, like, six months, I've actually grown. Um, I've actually gotten around, I believe... Let me think. Past six months, I've gotten around 11,000 subscribers. <laughs> so not everyone knows that when I was actually uploading videos of my drawings and stuff like that. Like, I've done drawings of Sonic, Mario, Zelda, uh, Christina Grammy, <laughs> a lot of people. And uh, do portraits and stuff. But, um, you know, yeah, there's Pitch right there. Let me know what you think about it, though. Uh, you know, it took a long time to do. And I uh, thought, you know what? Might as well draw something while I have the time to do it, and uh, you know, I can even show it on YouTube and stuff. Get a bit of publicity. <laughs> but yeah, so just did that while I was kind of grounded. And I know that really has nothing to do with my channel or anything like that, but you know, just kind of wanted to show that off a bit. But one thing that does pertain to my channel is that recently I reached a pretty big milestone on my channel, and uh, that is I have reached. 10 million total views on my channel so totally mind blown i never you know that was one of the bummers about you know actually um like being grounded i mean i couldn't actually upload a video or like you know i mean i was happy when i actually found out but i found out i think like a day later from when i actually did reach 10 million views so but um I do have to say thank you all so much for all the support. It really means a lot to me. All, you know, the comments, the likes, the, just everyone who's really, really supported me and, uh, you know, always, you know, just taking the time to watch my videos. And I'm glad so many people really, really enjoy them. And, uh, you know, it really, really means a lot to me. So uh, thank you all so much for the support and for all the people who've uh, stuck around for my videos, especially the people, like, there are some people who still comment on my videos and are like, I've been watching you since you had... 150 subscribers or 100 or 50 I'm like oh my gosh you stuck around with me for that long so you know I just want to thank you all for that and uh, really appreciate the support because I never would be here without you all like you know just how I like just how far I've gone on YouTube so I really really appreciate all the support and I sound like a broken record right now but 
you know, I mean, I just can't stress it enough. But uh, yeah, and then also, um, kind of did, like I said, it is, it is a channel update. Um, I have been thinking about actually this week trying to focus on Sonic 06 to just kind of finish that Let's Play so I can have that over with, have it done, forget about it, don't even think about it anymore. So I can just have that game over with and that LP over with because I want to go on and have that done by the time uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2 comes out, which is in 10 days exactly. So hopefully I can finish this Let's Play. I may not have guests on every part because you know I kind of have to adjust my schedule with other people's schedule and it can kind of get challenging so uh, that's the reason why I haven't really been uploading Sonic 06 as often as I do Mario Galaxy and stuff because you know I don't have guests in that let's play as I do with my Sonic 06 let's play so I may just do a lot of um, Silver Story by myself actually after all instead of having guests in most of the parts so I can just have it done with. I did get through the the hardest part of the game, which was Dusty Desert, and you know, now I think it sh it'll just be repetitive and boring. So it, it's it's not going to be really anything really excruciating or terrible or anything like that. But um, you know, I'm just wanted to let y'all know that I want to hopefully focus on that this week more. And uh, oh yeah, and then also another thing. Um, Turns out, uh, if you all hadn't watched my Super Mario Galaxy 2 part from earlier today, uh, that I actually um, have been thinking about after Sonic 06 to actually do my Sonic Colors Let's Play after um, Sonic 06. And people have been uh, saying that they actually want to see a new save. Excuse me, I yawned there for a second. Um, anyway, a lot of people have been saying that they want to see a new save file instead of me just going through the game with all the wisps and stuff like that from the start. So I think that's what I'm basically going to do, because uh, when I was thinking about it, I thought, actually, can I even go back through the cutscenes and uh, watch them through, like, while I play through the game? I don't think you can do that, actually. So that was something that I actually thought about and thought, you know, it may just be better to just do a new save file. But, um, you know, thank you all for the input and for, um, you know, all the feedback, because that really helped me out, kind of, like, think about it and decide and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, thanks for the feedback. You know, that's basically it. And, uh, oh yeah, another thing. People have been asking me, will I be doing Mario Tennis Open um, when it comes out? Yes, I will. Because I want to be doing some online matches and stuff like that. Um, most likely with uh, other YouTubers like Sully Palms and um, blah blah 937211 or other people like that. So, uh, you know, but that basically does it for this vid. So thanks. See you all. Have a good day.